I I have lots of toys here. I don't want to get any food on them. I don't think uh, almost three o'clock on a Tuesday's really good time to do a video, but I don't know. Okay, in Canada, we have A&W. I don't know if that is just a Canadian fast food place or not. Anyway, they use ethical products. They have ethical... Um, well, I actually didn't read that much about it. I, I know that they use cane sugar even in their root beer, and I don't drink soda at all, but um, so it, as a kid, I did enjoy, and I guess I would now... Um, root beer floats, which is root beer with ice cream in it. I mean, I also like cream soda floats too. There was a um, a soda in the a pop we call it in Canada in the eighties, which was called cream soda, and it was pink and it was really delicious. And I don't know if they still have cream soda around anymore. I don't like pop at all. Anyway, something else you can get at A and W is you can request a lettuce wrap. So you can get your burger instead of a bun on a, in between, big chunks of lettuce, which is awesome. And they do do this at a lot of um, healthier places. I just am so shocked that you can get, like, ethical meat. They also have, a, like, a vegetarian sandwich that they make that people love. It's called the Beyond Burger, I guess. The Beyond Burger is available at other places in the U.S. Do Canadians call soda pop also? Yeah, we do. Hey, Heather. Hey, Jose. Hey, Vanessa. Hey, Tracy's Toys. Um, hey, Mr. Spiderwalk. So I got two burger patties. These are called matza. I also always hold the ketchup and hold the mayo. So it's just, uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'm all, I'll let them. And then there's also other additives, like some, I don't know, depending on what kind of burger you get, but there's also coupons. So I was able to get these for $4 each. $4. Yeah, which I guess is a pretty good deal. You can also get a burger for three dollars which is kind of crazy so that's what i usually do but since i had a coupon and and i also wouldn't normally get the cheese on it but considering it's included i will and it is ethical cheese so i don't know well, the worst part about doing mukbangs is that you have to wait to eat your food, and then it gets all cold. But I don't really care. Mmm, 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 mmm. Yeah, I don't know how they divide up their patties or what. But they have all these different options. And different names of burgers. And the patties are all different sizes. There's mom and pop and uncle and teen. And I usually get some kind of buddy, buddy burger. Mm. What are you guys saying? Um, we have A&W restaurants in Florida. I've never been, though. Well, I recommend it, Tracy. It is good. Okay, so it has um, mozzarella and bacon on it. But usually the burger I get, I get some kind of double patty, but they're two tiny double patties. So I don't even know if they're as big as this patty. And I think it's just mustard and lettuce and the burger. But that's okay for me. 
And then I think it's under three dollars. Or the double patty comes to exactly under four dollars. <throat> These are ethical burgers. They're made with non-hormone, non-antibiotic beef. And they're a whole food. So I'm a whole foodist. And then so with no bun, you're just having the lettuce. And then ketchup has the refined sugar in it. Even though I'm not sure if their ketchup would have non-refined sugar because their soda probably wouldn't because it's just ketchup. But their A&W root beer is made with cane sugar. I went to bed at some crazy time last night. I mean, like, really early. Something like, I probably fell asleep at 5 or 7. And then I woke up at, like, at 9 or 10. And then I didn't go to sleep. I just did some work. And then I had to go to the post office. So then I just continued on going shopping. I didn't really buy that much today. But I did walk very far. Um, I could have taken my bike today. I was really surprised. We had so much snow. And uh, last night, the rain took care of it all. Or the, and the uh, humidity or the non-humidity. Oh, no, my hair. What I was saying in chat my old instagram is gone i don't have it anymore so i had to re-download a new instagram post and update oh no vanessa that's horrible hey michael's doll collection where's that michelle's sorry michelle It's a great idea to change the bread for lettuce. I think so. I've never seen that in France, neither in Peru. I don't know how common it is. But I've definitely... I forget what other restaurants do it. I think it's usually like more ethical gourmet restaurants. Mm. Well, there's a place called oh I totally forget what the name of it is oh Hero Burger in Canada also does this I think they might be owned by a w actually Mm, 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 mm. It is a bit messier. Mm. So I got them to hold the sauce. There's a special matzo burger sauce. Because I don't know what's in the sauce. And I am so totally happy just with like burger and lettuce. In fact, I like to make a salad like that where I just take some ground beef or ground any kind, ground lamb or any kind of ground meat, and then I fry it up in the frying pan, and then I add it to lettuce, and then I'll grate a whole onion on it, red onion preferred, and then the only thing you cook is the the meat and you put it in and then you mix that in and then you can put a, a whole let me squeeze a whole lemon in that too and 
and then sometimes I'll even crack an egg in it, and it the egg turns into like um, a may a mayo, but the mayo is made with um, the lemon juice, and and they just mix it in and gives it a creamy, and then it just tastes like a most delicious. It's a burger salad, and I just like stir it all up. So that is definitely an option, but that was fast and easy. I'm still really hungry because that was. Just two burgers. I probably could have gotten a couple more. Hey, if you're watching this video and you haven't given a like yet, give it a like. I love your likes. Um, hey Steven. Hey, I love Dollarama Find. Hey. Did I find anything at Dollarama today? Um ooh. I love the Dollarama. I went to three Dollaramas today, but I did not... Oh, well, I bought all of these Hot Wheels at Dollarama, so... And that was not today, but that was another day, so I'll show you these. They are... Something is happening with Hot Wheels and Matchbox. They're like... You know how I always say that I love Matchbox cars and Hot Wheels are too flashy? Well, there's been a spin... And there's been all of these flashy um, Matchbox cars, and they have these simple, really cool, like, vintage and retro and rudimentary, which I like, um, Hot Wheels cars. So I picked up a few. This one's awesome. I actually might already have this, but I guess it's okay to pay that $1.50. But I also, here's another, see, I got the, the, the time machine from Back to the Future, but then I also got this classic Batmobile, which is so awesome, from like the 1960s show. And then they had this awesome red truck. Look how cool that puppy is. And then we've got some kind of, well, these are a little sported up, a little too much decoration on them but because they're done in black and white and red like i can't see all my cars kind of match i really do only like black and gray and white and red and those are some sweet sweet things um um but he's 14 and he's not into them my son has tons i'm 14 too why isn't he into them I guess, you know, you get to an age. I'm a little older than 14, so okay, let's see what else I got here. Um, there's a flea market in the mall that's across the street from me. And I wanted these for a long, long time, and I was waiting. And the guy said that he ordered them, and he said he ordered them for me, but I just gave up. And they were kind of expensive. I He had $22 on them, but I got him to give them to me for $20 each. And I'm missing wave one and two of these, but I love Masters of the Universe, and I love how these look like my favorite toy from before Masters of the Universe, which was Adventure People. So they kind of made them in that Kenner or the, well, Fisher Price was the original people who made three and three quarter inch figures. But the only one I'm missing is Orko, and normally Scarecrow would glow would be missing when I did find these in places and I didn't want to buy them without the whole set but I don't really like Orko anyway and I probably will end up finding them and getting them but love Masters of the Universe love retro toys so that is definitely a sweet find hey Fabian what is up nice I am a Barbie collector and Monster High well I've got some things to show you then so at the off-price store, these sets are showing up. Unfortunately, oh, unfortunately, I didn't see the third store. I mean, I didn't find the third package. And only $3.99 for these, which normally in Canada, they would be like $8, I think, around that price. There's probably a date night one. There's a beach one. A Probably you call this one a school pack. And there is a date night pack with tickets and popcorn and stuff. I did not find that one yet. Maybe if I eventually check, keep checking at the off other off-price stores, 
I might find it. They have a they have they like to split things up at Marshalls and Winners. These are TJ Maxx companies, and they'll put one whole set into one store and one whole set into another store. So I never know when I'm gonna stumble upon something. Okay, let's see what else. And we've got some more Barbie stuff. Okay, so I ordered this twice from Amazon. I got a really good price on this. But the eyes kept coming messed up. And then I wrote to them and I said, um, please, my eyes are weird. Can you send me another one? And it's not that bad. And then they said yes. And I didn't even have to send back the other one for them to exchange it. But then they sent me another one that had really bad eyes. So I bought it again for like $26. But knowing that I would return one of the other ones with the weird eyes. But this one came and it had fantastic eyes. And that is why I got up early this morning and took the package. Well, I was already up like I told you. But that's why I left earlier today and took the package to have this one. And she's like my favorite. I think she's so pretty. She's totally... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Somebody I would date. I think she's beautiful. So if you want to know what my type is, this is her. She's so pretty and she looks so smart and she is a doctor. So, and she loves animals, even though I don't like animals, just as long as she doesn't bring work home, everything's going to be a-okay. There's so many more Barbie stuff. This set I got for 60% off that price. So what was that? It was $12. And this is a really cute tree house. And I just couldn't pass it up because I love a Chelsea. And I got that at Treasure Hunt, which is a great place to find deals at 70, 60. Right now it's 50% off again, unfortunately. But I got that set the other day. Today was the first day. It was 50% off. And let me reach into this bag and see what I got there also today. Oh, hey, Dollarama guy. I also got this awesome phone case. And do you see how it says it meets military specifications? That is sweet. And I am so clumsy, always dropping my phone. I do have a pretty sweet case that I already got for my new iPhone at the, I got a new iPhone 6, but I got, it's brand new and it's really nice and it has lots of memory on it. So I'm very, very happy. Lots of storage on it. Uh, this is probably up to par. It's probably, it looks like a really good case. So I'm happy that I have a backup for that for only $4 at the Dollarama. It's so awesome that you can find awesome things there. Um, oh, I could, I could show you this stuff. I got some, I went to a health food store. And I got some nutritional yeast, which I just like to put on my popcorn because it makes it taste delicious. I've been eating a lot of popcorn lately. I don't know if popcorn is bad for you or not. I'm not sure. I mean, it's organic popcorn, and I put a little organic olive oil on it, and then I put nutritional yeast on it, which they grow nutritional yeast on sugar, but I don't know. It's supposed to be really good, and they sell it at health food stores. Anyway, it's a treat. And it's flavorful, and it's probably a better snack than anything else I'm going to. Tea tree oil I use for everything, for cuts, and I use it to brush my teeth with. And I use it as deodorant, even. So I always buy that. That was an organic one. And then Giovanni hair stuff is my favorite. I don't usually put anything in my hair. To tell you the truth, I just wash my hair mostly with water. Every once in a while, I will use baking soda or apple cider vinegar to wash my hair. But I'm trying to grow out my hair, and I'm not having the best luck with it. I say that now, and it's looking so kind of good. But I bought some product, some real product, but it's an a natural product and Giovanni I do use their hair gel sometimes so I'm gonna try this polish serum at least it will put some shine into my hair and maybe it'll make it look acceptable I don't care if it's big and messy and everything as long as it doesn't look dry today it doesn't look dry which is cool I just heard from my boss they're going to be carrying new Fashionista Barbie dolls at Dollarama. 
All locations should have it out soon. That is awesome. I hope they don't go as quickly as the Cuckoo Harajuku dolls do. I didn't know that you worked at Dollarama. That's awesome. No wonder you have such good scoops and you see all the good products all the time. Um, th there is one with the hat, and that is probably a, g a nice old wave. So I really want the leopard skirt girl with the hat. She has red hair, and she has a black hat, which I really want. So I'm hoping that happens. Not sure if anyone else is having issues, but the video is scrambled looking on my end. Is that true? Is anybody else having issues with my video? Tracy, I think it's your connection. I mean, Florida is definitely a long ways away from me. I look like the Bride of Frankenstein. Um, hey, me, so what? Come on, give Jason a thumbs up. Hey, why haven't you given me a thumbs up? If you're watching this video and you haven't given me a thumbs up yet, give me a thumbs up. Okay, what else did I get here? Okay, at the treasure hunt, which is called Dirt Cheap in Some States, where I got this. I got these. Okay, so that was because I got these today, it was now 50% off. Um, fortunately, they put a cheaper price on this. They should have $10 on this, but for some reason they put $5 on this. And I mean, Magic can wear this dress and she gets a purse, but I basically got this vest for Luke because he likes to dress up like a caveman. I mean, who doesn't? I like to dress up like a caveman too. And they also had this like beach bag. So I got that for $2. And then I think this is the last career fashion from this wave that I didn't have. So that's going to be really fun to do that. I'll put them on my WWE girls, which is always fun to do. Those are always popular videos. You guys seem to like um, to play Barbies with me. I Speaking of WWE girls, I got two more. They were on sale on Amazon. The prices are fluctuating right now. This one I've never had before, so that's awesome. She is a double. I have had her, but I need her body to put to put to put where's that girl? Where's the the big afro girl? I guess I have her somewhere else. She's around here somewhere in her cut out bathing suit. I saw her sitting around here somewhere. So anyway, and then um, she's awesome though. And look at the extra shoes she comes with. So those are definitely awesome. And then maybe that dress does look a little cheap, but it's cool. I mean, she's got cool accessories too. Her boots are probably, no, the boots have writing on them. So other people can't wear them. That's the shame with her. She really doesn't have shoes that anybody can wear. She's got two pairs of boots. The blue dress is okay, but it's kind of a young look. Um, I got more. I got more of these. What? Yeah, because the sales are going on. This is also one I don't have. I mean, I do have Sasha Banks, but they re-released her in different colors and also gold shoes. So we like that. And I think that these red boots don't have anything on them and they are the slimmest boot that they make, I believe. So that will be definitely good for somebody to wear too. So two good shoes. The blue dress is nice and simple. So that definitely could probably come in handy too. Definitely maybe. And great skin. This is a great skin color, which is very popular with Barbie. These are both the same skin color. So the bodies are going to come in extra handy. I also have somebody who needs this skin tone. Oh, yes, I know who it is. It's the singer girl. So that's going to work out awesome. So one of those bodies is already accounted for. Oh, my goodness. I've got more stuff back here. What? I started out with the, the boy toys. But, okay, I didn't get all of these. I just got one of them. I got the last one. It went on sale on Amazon, and I went, what? Awesome. And I looked at the three that I had, and I went, that's the one that I don't have. So now I've got the whole set of these just in time for all the mermaids 
Speaking of which, I didn't realize that they made these in sets of four. I thought they made them in sets of three because everything else they do in divisions of three. So like the mini packs and I didn't read, well, I guess it's just the mini packs, but there's a fourth one that I didn't open when I did the ma major opening. So I'm going to have to do some kind of, I probably won't open these at the same time I open this. I think I've changed my mind. I was going to get everything. I was also going to get the house and I was going to get the car. So then I would have the whole complete mermaid series, but I already have a house and a car. And so do I really need to get in a trailer and I have all kinds of stuff. So maybe I shouldn't get the bigger sets, even though they're on sale at Toys R Us in Canada until Thursday. So I still have time to contemplate that. I was feeling under the weather um, the last couple of days, sore throat, and I'm um, just not feeling well. I guess that's why I didn't do a video. But I guess I'm feeling better now. I guess the food helped, gave me some energy. Let me put these away. I'm still right here, don't go away. Well, oh, whoa, oh, no, oh, wow, I just wrecked all my toys. I uh, got, I think I already told you about these. I'm not sure. I got these at the off price too for 60% off. This is great. I love these sets. So the loops can do a, um, we can start making merch for my channel and for, I guess I should call it our channel. But, you know, babies have to go to work and get the merch done. And then I got this horse there too, which I already have this horse, but this horse is awesome. So at 60% off, I'm going to get an extra horse. You can't have too many horses. I'm sure I showed those in my last haul. Is there anything else here? Oh, here's one that I got in LA and I never reviewed her. I just took her out of her package and put her in my luggage. So I'm going to open her at the same time as I'm going to open up. these two wait oh yeah because they're, they're like the same they're from the same wave these ones and then i don't really have to open up her on camera because i've already done that but i will do a video where i rip her head off and i put the other girl's head on that i don't think i'm taking her head off though she is my favorite so far look how evil her eyes are she looks so pretty I'm not sure about in real life. I don't know if that's nice to say. She's got too much makeup on. Alexa Bliss. But the doll looks really pretty. She looks like she has a little secret. She kind of looks like Samantha from Bewitched. Yeah. I like. She's a wicked mean pretty. And I kind of fall for that too. Even though the good girl. Where's the, where's the good girl again? The sweet, nice doctor girl. She really is my type. Hopefully. She's who I marry. She's who I date. You know that question? I, I think I've told you this guy before. You know that question? Date, marry, and, you know, get with kind of thing. I always say my answer to that is Taylor Swift for all of them. She's my answer to all three. Um, yes, head swaps. Yes, Nancy Bell, we're gonna rip the heads off of so many more dollies. Okay, is, is that everything? Should I look around some more? I don't know if I told you I got Cinderella, so that is the 11th doll in the tiny heads. So I got the small heads, I've got all of these. I've got all of these twice. I've got them with their first big heads, and then I've got them with their tiny heads, and we're going to open these all together one day in one giant video, and we're going to look at them all and compare them. Oh, there's a, there is more. There's more. I got these bags at the Dollarama, by the way. Not, oh, well. Not too long ago, I picked up some more of them because they definitely come in handy for shopping and taking to L.A. 
I know I said that I'm selling my whole Monster High collection, but this was at the this was at the thrift store and it was ten dollars and it's probably one of the only sets that I don't have. Like I there's probably a handful of sets of the play sets that I don't have, and this was one of them. So you know what I figured? It's cheaper than the new Barbie play sets. Do I have those examples around here? I do over there somewhere. You know, the little furniture packs? And it's probably gonna look... It, it just, it's so cool. Like, everything Cleo is cool. And it probably would look cool in this house. So, you know, I'm gonna open that house. And then I can put that furniture inside it. What do you think of that, guys? I think that's a good idea. Do you guys think I need Orco or anything? It's a good thing I have an extra backup. You should keep the one you w w with, with wood eyes to do a makeover with it. Yeah, I, don't, I was thinking about that one day. I don't, I'm not really big on doing... I'm not really... I don't really feel comfortable, let's say, painting faces on them. But... Very often, I want to remove all of the things off. I just love all the accessories in that pack. That pack is awesome, and I really like the outfit, and I love the baby monkey, and everything is pretty sweet. So I'm very happy that I do have an extra set of that, at least for the outfit. And I don't need the body, because I don't use those bodies. As I give all of my dollies these bodies... So I think that's everything. How long have I been talking and eating for a half hour? That's not bad either. Yes to the Monster High dressing table for Barbie. I think I think Barbie will enjoy that really crazy Egyptian masterpiece. It's it's a beauty. Who doesn't like gold furniture? I have that house but the same one from the 60s. Whoa, Heather. Whoa. Um, I, I do have problems with reproductions. I don't like how dirty they are or how ruined they are. I love new toys, so I do buy a lot of thrift. Oh, guys, I have to do the thrift chest video. I'm going to do it. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I always say maybe tomorrow. It's right there. Look, it's even it's even overflowing with stuff. Do you see it? It's metal. It's on the ground there. It's under It's under the, all of that other. There's more vintage stuff. Did I show you? Yeah, I, I did a haul for my Masters of the Universe cars. Vehicles. Heather, you don't by any chance have the original records that came with that house because they put the new records, they made some new Barbie records, but it have been really cool to get. They had like a Sinatra and they had like music of the era in the record, in the like the little play records. So that was really cool. Those would be awesome to have. Wish I could have kept more of my old Barbie stuff. Yeah, but it rots. Like, my Masters of the Universe elastic bands are all, like, ruined, and which I don't, which I'm not happy about. Just open it. Oh, the chest. Open it right now. Nancy wants me to do it. Um, I, wa I want to do it in the daylight. Today is daylight. Should I do it right now? Maybe I should do it right now. I'd like my room to be really, really clean, though, and it's not right now. But... It could be clean by tomorrow. So, oh, Heather says yes, do it now. Yes, I'm, I'm teasing you guys. Keep coming up with these ideas and saying to do it. There's a lot of, like, there's a lot of vintage Barbies in there. There's a lot of vintage, I don't know, there's a Steve Austin in there, too. I, I don't even remember. A lot of McDonald's Happy Meal toys, like new ones that are still in their packages. Probably Madic Madame Alexander stuff, which is really cool. From McDonald's. Those are the best McDonald's toys. What else do I got on there? Oh, God. oh I got Adventure People in there. 
Hopefully my horror monsters from Burger King are in there because I can't find them. So I'm thinking, I thought I washed them. Maybe I just put them all together and threw them in the chest one day. It's too early to go to bed. Um, I was on a really fantastic sleeping schedule where I was um, going, getting up really early, like even like five or six in the morning, five, six or seven kind of thing, and then going to bed around 10. And I was doing that for a while, and I've never done that in my life. I've always been like, um, go to bed at 6 a.m. in the morning and then wake up at noon or two or something like that. That's kind of how I usually go. But I was so happy because it was like two weeks and I was doing this awesome, like real. And people say that it's really productive to do that. And I was really productive. However, I shouldn't. I really I think all my back problems come from me working in bed so i'm just like lying in bed and all my lower back hurts so badly but when i said i should at least like bring my laptop over here but the bed is so cozy i love i love being in bed and i i do it we know i used to do my reviews there and i like to bring my food there and eat in the bed and but i probably shouldn't but something that will help me out do you like how my train of thought is going and i'm just getting everything out right now i get a good desk here so I don't know. I think my situation in this house might be changing. I'm not sure. Anyway, nonetheless, if it does or not, if I, I'm, I'm considering moving to other rooms or something like that. Um, but if it doesn't, I should definitely get like a real desk in here. I've only got like a less than a foot probably of desk space right here. So that doesn't help with things falling over. It doesn't help with like you know, doing a review at this place. So I could at least do that. I do like my milk cartons, though. See, I've gotten rid of all of my furniture, and I mostly have things that are modular. Like, my shelves are modular, and uh, these milk cartons can be, like, adapted in so many ways. So that's kind of what happened to me in my life. I have a bed. See, again, all I use is my bed for eating and sleeping and reading and working. It's my office. It's my bed. It's my kitchen. It's my... Uh, I'm, I guess I'm supposed to be like one of those really overweight shut-in people. But I just, I guess I eat too healthy. Oh, yeah. And I haven't, I've been, also I've been better at exercising like every second day that's all i like to do um three times a week and i've been really good at that but not since i was sick so today probably would be i usually do it monday wednesday and friday i like to do some pull-ups and push-ups and but i'm not really feeling and i didn't sleep and i'm not feeling well so i probably shouldn't do it but the food definitely made me feel good, so that's good. Please show us your room one day. I've done that before. There are room tours. And can I show you it right now? It's not its messiest, but it's not cool right now because I just rushed in and because I wanted to eat my burgers and I threw everything around and then I just did a toy haul, so I'm not going to spin it around. And I got like, yeah, got my pants on the floor and stuff. I did a quick outfit change. Outfit change. I took off my jacket and my pants. I put on shorts, though. I'm wearing shorts. I look, I look crazy. Oh, something cool that happened to me is I always buy these glasses from the Dollarama, which they're the best reading glasses. I've ever, well, I don't know. Well, they haven't broken until recently and these two both broke at the same time but you know what's awesome is that i was going to just throw them out well you know it's the opposite arm all i have to do is unscrew one of the arms and put it on and then i have to make sure that i do it for the right magnification because i used to just get a 1.5 but i definitely need a two now the eyes just keep getting worse and worse and i can't see normally with them on they're only for reading see I'm, i know that most people understand the concept of reading glasses just for me it's i've been like holding off on it for so long and i didn't want to do it but i can't see anything up close anymore it's horrible getting old is horrible people say oh no 
being getting older is wonderful. It's not wonderful. My back hurts all the time. I can't see anything anymore. Gray hair. Uh, the texture of my hair. Um, well, the texture of my hair hasn't been good since I was probably four. So that doesn't really count anyway. What else? What else is horrible about about being old? It's just, it's not cool. Wait, which one of these glasses are good? I should do a, a video on fixing glasses. I was gonna like be really nerdy and like um, hockey tape the arms back on, but I probably won't. Okay, so yeah, here I can see. The room perfectly clear. Can't see in front of my face though. Now I can see in front of my face so well. This is good, but I can't see around my room. It's all blurry and distorted. So, and then the, the monitor here, I can't see. Um, okay, I'm turning 36. Well, Heather, that's a that's a good year. Um, getting old is not wonderful. It's not Nancy. It's not at all. Glue them all to one. I'm not gluing them. Oh, maybe I can. Maybe I can see really good. If oh yes, oh this is great. Oh, that's a good idea. Now I can really see. Oh man, this is awesome. Can't see at all there, but I can see here really good. Okay. All you guys watching here need to... Oh, my goodness. Thank you for reminding me. I love Dollarama Find. Like the video. I love your likes. Your likes are so good. Your likes will get me more likes. Your likes will get me more viewers. I'll finally get 10,000 subscribers. Oh, so do you guys think I should change my name at 10,000 subscribers? Or do you like Two Hunky Toys? Should I just change my channel to Jason... To just Jason, maybe not just Jason, but Jason, and then, or I could use my real name. Hmm, interesting. What do you think I should do? Hey, Liam, you think I should change my name to Too Hunky, my man? I mean, that's a pretty cool name. Yeah, I've been thinking about changing my name. It would be a good time to do it because I mean before, you know, I'm gonna as soon as I hit as soon as I hit ten thousand, I'm not gonna like celebrate anything else until I get to a hundred thousand. I guess it's what's big for me is I never realized this, but it's the placeholder. So it's just so and then after a hundred thousand, I'm not gonna care what I'm at until I reach a million. But I don't want to reach a million. I don't, actually, I don't want to reach a million because I don't want the possibility of too many people knowing who I am in public. But 100,000 is good. And I think that's a sustainable because I know that the, the YouTubers that I watch that reach 100,000, that's when they buy new houses. And they don't sell their old house either. They just buy new houses. So... That sounds that sounds good to me. I'm I'm fine with that. I don't want no Shane Dawson foolishness happening. I just you know want it to be nice, comfortable, sustainable. That's all. Don't change. No change. Oh, okay. People like two hunky toys. I just thought you know I just changed the change the name Jason Jason whatever my last name is, and then make it a vlog channel. Toys, I'll still buy and review toys all the time, but I probably would vlog all the time instead. I mean, that's what I really always wanted to do, but I just had this idea to review toys because I love toys, and I thought it would be funny to do toy reviews for moms that are stuck at home with babies and don't get to talk to anybody all day long. Be very careful adding people to your Facebook. Some people here or just a troll trying to get information from people. I never add anybody anymore to my Facebook. 
I don't even use Facebook. I mean, I kind of do. I use it. I just retweet. What do you call repost? Re Facebook. I just share like cute animals and funny babies dancing and stuff. Cute things. Kind of like my toy channel. I like cute things. All right. But I don't put personal stuff on it. I do on my Facebook page, but that's just for work. And I don't really want to talk about that here. Don't use your real name. People can't find out where you live. No, they can't. It's, it's not like I'm listed in the phone book or anything. We don't have phone books anymore. Um, yes, it's crazy when you put three glasses in one. Yeah, it wasn't. I, I'm probably more attractive now than I ever was, but <laughs> am I allowed to say something like that? But like, I used to like, I don't know that could, that might be maturity or no, no, I actually, I physically look better. Uh, hey, um, yeah. Okay. So I, I can say that. Um, oh, except for the gray, the gray is kind of, it kind of messes me up in the summertime. The gray, I don't mind because my skin tone is darker, but I just look all gray at this time of year. And then I think, I don't know. I don't know. Gray is weird. I mean, I always wanted to be like young and have like a full head of gray hair, but that never happened. Now I'm going to be old and have a full gray head of gray hair. It's just not doing it fast enough. Um, what else is good about being old? Yeah, I, I, it's life experience. For guys, it's better because they're smart, or they're more handsome, but girls don't like it because they get more wrinkles and stuff. Girls don't like how wrinkles look on them. I usually like older ladies, like as much as I end up with younger ladies, uh, girls, I, um, always am more attracted to like Julianne Moore or who's that who's that girl in who's that I forget always forget what her name is she's a comedian and she's in um that movie where J Zach Efron turns in goes back in time he's Matthew Perry and he goes back in time and becomes he, he becomes whatever I just said his name was and um, and he's 18 again but he's 17 again the girl in that movie his girlfriend when she's grown up she's I love her no don't change your name if you're going to do that just make um, a second channel and that's how you people watch you oh yeah but the thing is, if I do ever reach 100,000, do I really want it to say two hunky toys on it? Is that is that really what I want? So that's why I better choose like a name. It would be a lot cooler if I got a plaque that had my real name on it. You know, I mean, that would be because this was just a name in time that I chose randomly for, you know, no good reason. And it's not, it doesn't mean, or it shouldn't mean as much as my real name. So that's kind of what, or maybe I should just wait until I get to, I'll, I'll think about it. Um, oh yeah. Fools fall in love. Oh no, not that one. No, 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 no not that one. It was called 17 again. I mean, I could look her. I put her on, I, I pinned her on my Pinterest board. Hey, bye, Nino. Thanks for stopping in. Good night, Liam. Or maybe, Liam, you're saying good night to Nino. S Spain, it must be getting late in Spain. I hope you live on the south of Spain. The Mediterranean is so nice. Nice chatting too. You're going to work now. Oh, going to work now. Have have an awesome day. Have have an awesome. Thanks. Maybe you weren't saying good night. You were saying good night. Salut, salut mon ami. Qu'est-ce que tu fais? Bienvenue mon chambre avec le beaucoup de. 
I don't know. I'm, I, I keep switching languages. Um, um, Jouet? Jouo? Jou? I don't know what to, what's toy in French. Anybody know what toy is in French? I love movies. I like movies too. I think I've seen all the good ones on Netflix, though, unfortunately. Um, thanks, Nino. No, you rock. Um, I it was nice chatting with you, and oh, follow you. Have a nice day. Oh, yeah, and don't forget before you go to like give the video a thumbs up because that's only going to get me more subscribers more often, and then I can only make better quality videos. The more some oh, Kristen Wig, no, but. No, but she's definitely one of my favorite actresses of all time. So funny. And then sometimes she doesn't even have to be funny. She's in some great movies. I don't, I've never seen a movie with her in it that wasn't awesome. She definitely chooses great movies to be in. <laughs> Speak more French. Um, I don't know if I don't know enough words to keep speaking French. If it's important to you to have your own name on your plaque, then you should update it. Yeah, I guess I could like update it like around well, 50,000. I could update it around 50,000. So then at least I could like celebrate that at, you know, a little bit. Hey, do you guys want to see some dollies? I don't really like these, so it's kind of cool that I'm doing this. Hey, let's 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 open a doll right now. Since I've already opened it before, there's no point in me like not opening it right now, huh? And then I can rip the head off of some toys. So I'm gonna open up her. Don't go away. I'm going to be right back. Relax. Did you go away? Oh, maybe you did. Um, do you have any vintage Star Wars figures? Yes, yes, I do. Here, let me smash everything to get them for you. Oh, there's some right on top here. Like, not just Star Wars figures, giant Star Wars figures just sitting right here. They should have put this on the bottom so that you can crawl inside its guts. Achoo! Achoo! Um, I like those glasses. Oh, thanks. Hey, what not spot? What not spots in the house? You guys don't make enough videos anymore. But you make nice art. Lots of nice art. Um, I, you have a wonderful evening. Oh, no, Heather Wheeler, you have a wonderful evening. Um, I have a bunch with X-Wing and TIE Fighters. Oh, that's awesome. Um, Liam, I have so many Star Wars videos to do. I have, you know what? I really love the cartoon ones, but I'm not buying them because what is, I, I saw the two packs of the cartoon ones today at Walmart and they look so awesome. I love that new cartoon series, the Star Wars cartoon series, but I have the ones from the old show, whatever that old cartoon is. And those are pretty cool too. And I have a whole nice set of those, but... I haven't been making, I mean, I, I, um, but what was I going to say? Oh, oh, yeah, I have to open them. So I need to open them. And then I've got lots of two nineties, two, I don't know, some, you know, when they came out in the nineties, when those other movies came out, bless you. No, bless you. Oh, for sneezing. <laughs> oh, thanks. I thought you were getting all religious on me. Um, um, Yes. I could show them to you now, but I'm not going to because it's not the right time. Um, oh, um, oh, what was what was I gonna do? 
I'm, I'm missing something, I think. Oh, no, no, I put it up here. That's right. Okay, okay. Okay, let's, let's pull this together right now. Hey, if you're watching this video and you haven't given it a like yet, give it a like. Thanks for your thumbs up. I love your thumbs up. You guys are the sweetest. I wonder if her head is going to work on this body. Oh, yeah, I have to heat them up. That's, that's the weird part. That's the scary part. But I guess I'm not going to. Bring over the other ones? No. So I'm just ripping off the head of the doll right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, oh, that was easy. I pulled out her hair a little bit, though. Look at her head. Look at her head. But I also need to take the head off this one. Oh. Um... Um, have you ever done a Lella Loopsie review, like the full scale or minis? You know what? I have a huge collection of Lella Loopsie babies. I don't really like Lella Loopsies. I don't like their proportions per se. I mean, they're kind of cool. I like that they look all holly hobby crafty and stuff. I like the buttons and all that stuff. But the baby ones, those are really, really cute. And I have a huge, huge collection of those babies. And I do want to open up all those. I'm going to do this big... I don't know if they fall under the MGA or the... Um, what is it? Little, little Tykes? Well, anyway, they're MGA. I have a giant box of MGA toys. Yes, I think Little Tykes is owned by MGA. Hey, Batsy, thanks for coming back. Th um, thanks for your like, too. Your like is the awesomest. Um, you deserve more likes. <laughs> Black Liquid, that's so true. All right, let's see if... Oh, wait, I haven't opened up Naomi yet. So I got two heads. They're very, very, very different tones, but actually... Maybe, maybe they're not. Maybe she can get away with it. I think. Oh yeah, what I was starting to say was that um, I don't really like the Barbie and the Rocker heads, but I'm trying really hard to like use them for something because they were expensive. So I made sure that I rebodied them, but I couldn't rebody this one because. There's no WWE girl with her skin tone. I'm still in love with the doll number 105. Early morning gray, you're going to have to tell me which one that is. I know it's from the recent wave because we're into the 100s here. Where did I get all this energy? That burger was great energy, wasn't it? You should try to do collaborations with another toy reviewer. Um, yeah, but who am I going to do that with in Canada? When you do that, you have to do it with somebody who has lots of subscribers. Now, I do know a guy who has... I think he has 2 million subscribers, but I'm not about that. There's a guy that I know in my city. But I I don't I would never ask that. So, I mean, he does do comic book themed videos. So, I'm just going to do it on my own. Squirrel Stampede just did it. He just made videos. Didn't didn't like didn't like try or do collaborations. He just made really good videos, and he became he has all hundreds of thousands of subscribers, maybe even has a million now. So it can be done. 
and I kind of always wanted to do like I'm uh, I work in social media and another one of my jobs and I out of curiosity I just want to know that it can be done anyway and I should probably like warm up this head yeah I gotta I gotta like heat this up because I'm just gonna I'm just gonna split the plastic I don't think the heater is gonna go on though because it's so warm today. I mean, I could put it under a hot water tap, but that wouldn't make for a very interesting video now, would it? Do you have any of the new Jazzwares Fortnite figures? No, they're so expensive. They cost $25 here in Canada. So crazy. And that's everywhere. That's a good price for them. I did get all the Funko 5-star ones, though. Those are really cute. I have those right here. This guy's awesome. I love his outfit. I could wear that. Um, oh, Liam, do you want guitars? Um, yes, even with Lala Loopsy outfits. I don't know what honest. They're like, if I buy four of them, that's a hundred dollars plus tax. Wait, is that what you? I don't. Batsy didn't tell me to do it. Batsy bought lots of those awesome Star Wars cartoon figures. Those are going to add up too. See, if I just get the single packs, they're $10 each here. So that's $60. That's a lot of money. And then the two packs are $19 each. And that's another $40. So I can't afford that. Okay. Um, I know that um, I said that I was going to do a head swap. But the head, I have to heat it up. And then, I mean, if I have to run under a tap or anything. But at least you guys know what. Um, oh, you know what I'm doing. Anyway, and maybe I'll come back later tonight and do another video because, I mean, up until 8 o'clock is always free range to do videos. I'm glad that you guys could come by and uh, give me a thumbs up while we were here and have um, some burgers with me. They were really delicious. I love you guys. And uh, I hope that you will um, keep subscribing to the channel. And anybody who's new watching this channel, I hope you um, subscribe. And definitely give me a thumbs up because... You can even give me a thumbs down. I think all attention is good attention, so it doesn't even really matter. But, I mean, it makes me feel good when I see the thumbs ups. The thumbs down are kind of hurtful. So why would you want to hurt somebody? I mean, there's a lot of mean kids on social media. I It, it baffles me kind of why any child would want to act that way and say such mean things when you're finished. I'm finished now. Please show us the results of the head swap. Oh, when you're finished. I definitely will Earl morning gray, early morning gray. I mean to say you can be either, but you are great. No black liquid. You're great. And so are all of you. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We will see you.